Good morning, my name is Abel Castillo, TSTC Automotive Program. Today I will talk about fuel economy. What is fuel economy? How does it affect us? What can we do to help our pocket? First thing we have to talk about is safety first. You see the safety glasses here? This is what we have to work on first. Safety has to be considered, that's the first thing we gotta take care of. Once we take care of our safety, we have to make sure we have any jewelry, anything that's gonna cause a short, we gotta take it off. At this point, I don't have nothing else on but my safety glasses, and I'm ready to start with this uh, great presentation on fuel economy. First thing we wanna do on the vehicle is a vehicle inspection. Thoroughly inspect your vehicle, such as checking your tire pressure, checking your oil, air filter, uh, consider driving conditions, driving habits, all those things will be considered in the fuel economy. Now I'm gonna show you the air filter. The air filter is located in this housing. What we do to inspect the air filter, we have to make sure it's not deteriorated, no pieces of the air filter, because that will go into the, uh, restrict the air passages, air going into the intake, air that's needed to mix with fuel to uh, get the correct fuel economy. Also, you wanna make sure it's not dirty or clogged up or it's not wet. Any possible conditions like that will affect your fuel economy. We have to consider our ambient uh, areas, our ambient temperatures, also our current driving. Where do we drive? Is it city driving or, or rural driving? Uh, here in t South Texas, there's a lot of sand, a lot of dirt, a lot of construction. So that's to be considered. Don't wait for certain miles. It's not about miles. It's about does it need it or not. Next, I'm gonna talk to you about uh, periodic maintenance. As far as the tune-up, when was the last time you actually did a tune-up? What does it consist? This car consists of changing spark plugs, spark plug wires, fuel filter, and even a fuel injector service to clean the injectors. This is recommended at different miles. Some manufacturers recommend it at 100,000 miles, some recommend it at 50, some at 30. It all depends also your driving conditions. How much do you use this vehicle? This does affect the drivability of the vehicle and it could hurt you on your pocket as far as fuel economy. Another inspection we do is tire pressure. We need a good, well-known, calibrated air shock and also there are specifications on the tire somewhere in the tire right here that tells us exactly how much pressure in PSI is supposed to be. Most of them, the correct way to check it is, is when it's cold. A tire has to be cold when you're actually checking the tire pressure. At this point, this one says it's uh, maximum is 44 PSI. Doesn't mean that you need to fill up your PSI uh, maximum. You could do from 35 to 44. Next, another place we could get information about tire pressure will be inside the vehicle's door. Sometimes it has it here, or it will have it inside the door. This one has it right in this pillar, and the manufacturer specifications are here. In conclusion, remember your driving conditions. Where you drive, is it in town? Is it highway, rural, stop and goals, high acceleration? Your routine maintenance, such as tune-ups, checking your oil and filter also, your air filter, your tire pressure. If you have any questions, further questions about this program and learn a little bit more about automotive, please feel free to come to the automotive program. Look for Mr. Adam Gutierrez, program chairman, or myself, Abel Castillo. Have a good day.